what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel uh right now we're in uh jangwa oasis this is the collab zoo between me and the insider uh we're doing a little real-time episode this uh this time uh this is for the uh, jangwa center for reptiles this is our little reptile house uh real-time episode for this part there will be a uh time lapse at the end for the habitat in the back so what we've done, what we decided to do is uh, the Nile monitors that were in this habitat, we've uh, discussed it and decided that this habitat was just too big. Uh, so the next episode that I do after uh, Insider's next episode, which will be the 14th episode, will be a all real-time episode where we fill this habitat up with new animals and, uh, of course, uh, do some remodeling and stuff to make sure that they uh, fit well into it. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, building that I've made here uh, for the reptile house. Uh, i got a little surprise in there. It's a uh, blueprint from somebody on the workshop. I'm, uh, we're not going to be taking a whole tour of the whole entire zoo. Uh, just this. And then we'll show you the Nile Monitor habitat in the back as well. Uh, sorry if my voice is a little bit weird today or I found, sound a little bit... Uh, strange i have my second shot uh, about 12 hours from this point of this recording so all right but uh this is the outside of the habitat or the outside of the building i'm sorry uh the foliage around the edges here are a little bit uh not as good as the rest and that's because uh you know the zoo's getting a little big and we want to make sure that uh our computers can run it okay so far i'm not having any issues but uh yeah, just a pretty much a basic building. Uh, I really wanted to focus on the interior of the uh, of the building and not the outside. To be fair, well, actually, just to be honest, uh, the reason why this isn't a... Uh, you won't see a speed build or a time lapse of this building is because I didn't really know what I was going to do. Uh, I was having a lot of uh, creative difficulty trying to figure out what I wanted to build or what I wanted the building to look like. Uh, I went through many iterations. I even tried... Uh, going online and looking up some pictures and stuff to get some inspiration and I just couldn't find nothing so I decided to sit down and just build and uh, see where it took me but yeah we come across uh, back here to the back and this is where we find the uh, new habitat for the Nile monitors uh, we'll have an indoor viewing from this side so just a quick overview of the Nile monitors we moved all of them over here actually I released the uh, originals to the wild because they were getting old and uh, now we have some new ones uh, one male and uh, three females, I believe. But yeah, uh, much smaller, uh, much better for them. Uh, we'll go ahead and take, an, uh, take a look inside. I'm going to try to keep this uh, short and sweet. Uh, these uh, snake pictures here, I guess you call them pixel art are actually done by well, they're mosaics and they're done by Madame Muse Madame Muse I think is how you say it uh, those can be found in the workshop well, we'll go ahead and uh, move on in and here we are on the inside uh, we do have some uh, pixel arts on this side here as well I believe these are done by that sleepy girl you'll see those uh, plastered all around the area but one of the big things that you see when you come in is this big skeleton of the titanoboa, uh, titanoboa, sorry. And this is done by Rutzen, Rutzen Kukta, Nukta. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. But, uh, yeah, I think I saw this uh, while scrolling around and uh, looking around the workshop a while back. And I picked it up and thought this would be perfect for the reptile house pretty awesome very very well done uh, this piece right here this little sign is also done by the same creator as well when we come in we do have some shops on this side we have a gulpy sodi gulpy sodi a gulpy slush and a missy good we have some tvs in the back here as well so the guests can watch tv uh, while they enjoy their snacks and we come in and we have uh, all reptiles that were found in the desert and the trick I tried here is to make it seem like this was one big uh, exhibit and not just one, or not two separate ones, but one big one. Uh, not really sure how to make the glass look like it's not quite there. 
Uh, I've seen people do it on other videos to where it looks pretty good. I'm not sure how they did it. So if anybody out there has any uh, suggestions on how we can make this look a little bit better, uh, please do hit me up in the comment section uh, and let me know. But we do have our eastern brown snakes over here. And then on this side we have our lizards. Now we have a Gila monster there. With some more mosaic uh, art pieces here. We have our puff adders. This is a... Uh, by the way, these are education boards that I made uh, a while back. It's my first set I've ever made. They're very, very, very simple. Nothing special about them whatsoever. You know, I even screwed up this. Uh, when you do the scientific names, uh, you're not supposed to have the uh, capitalizations here. So, but that's okay. We just got some uh, information such as the uh, name of the animal, uh, where they're from, or where they're found. Uh, we have the uh, the status conservation status scientific name and then a picture of them that I found on the internet uh, we'll look at the non monitor here in just a second come over here and we have our rattlesnake our uh, eastern blue tongue lizard and we have our common death adder these are all the reptiles that are uh, got the desert biomes here and I just threw some stuff on the walls uh, that were reptile related along with some planters here I got the columns. Uh, I got some of the ceiling fans that I've made for the other parts of the zoo. Uh, we got a big glass roof up here to let the uh, natural light in. And then we come over here, we have our non monitor habitat, in which, again, we use the in game picture along with the one that I made, and then a little conservation board as well with some on the side here. And you come in and we got the one-way glass where we can get a good view of the non-monitors in their habitat, especially if they're using their enrichment items or chowing down on some lunch over here. Again, some more mosaics. Got the uh, non-monitor word uh, name hanging from the ceiling up here. And we took advantage and used some of these. Even though these don't really match uh, what's going on in the side, but we do have some uh, statues on uh, either side. So yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's basically it. You know, we got the custom floor. Uh, with the wood flooring on this side. Uh, I think, to be fair, I think it turned out pretty well. Definitely, uh, please let me know what everyone thinks of this. Uh, I'm really sorry that there is no speed build of it, but I just, uh, just having some, uh, craters, craters block and just didn't really know what I was going to do. Uh, we will take a look at this at night real quick. The inside, I think it's, uh, exactly the way I wanted it lit. Uh, I do need to uh, work on this area here to maybe uh, add a little bit more lights into it because this is where they eat, but I did want uh, this area sort of darkened a little bit so that way the light is focused on the Titanoboa. And then of course uh, plenty of light over here while uh, observing the exhibit animals as well. Yeah, I think, it, uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I thought about doing some red lighting here. Excuse me. We do have some red lighting over here under the uh, under their shelter. But yeah, uh, again, this is nothing spectacular. It's not the greatest thing you're ever going to see by far. And definitely not the best thing I've built. But uh, it's something. And here we are. The whole habitat here. You got the uh, staff section over here to enter the habitat. And then we got all the guest viewing. We got this viewing area here. Here. And on the other side here as well. I think it looks pretty good. Not bad. All of our little little buddies are sleeping. All tuckered out, I guess. Yeah, but you got plenty of water to swim in. Uh, again, just taking these rock formations that uh, Insider has made and kind of copying them around throughout the zoo. I think it really helps. And to give you a little bit of uh, location here, this here we are, and then we're going to be right here. So. We got this area to fill in. We got these little spots to fill in here, here, and here. Uh, probably going to do something like a uh, like a place for people, uh, some some food shops, you know, and some bathrooms, stuff like that. Uh, we'll get there eventually. We just want to make sure that it continues to run smoothly. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, Jane Wall Center of Reptiles. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys it. And before I let you guys go, I want to let you know that. The, like I said, the 14th episode is going to be the remodeling of this. So pretty much everything's going to stay the same. 
Uh, we're just going to work on the habitat a little bit to fit the new animals in. Uh, we're going to be having three species in here. So it is going to be mixed. Uh, I even plan on getting rid of these education boards here and building a new one that has all three listed on it in smaller uh, billboard sizes. And of course we'll change this too as well. Along with all the speakers and everything. Yeah, there won't be too much to change. In all honesty, you know, I did remove the uh, now monitor head, change the name. Uh, I won't tell you what that is yet. You'll see that in that episode. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I got for you guys. Uh, as soon as this real time in uh, real time part ends, you will get a speed build of just the construction of this habitat here. And then after that, we'll get some uh, cinematic shots. And that'll be it. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, definitely different, and I'm thinking about uh, seeing if we could do some more uh, real-time episodes in the future. Uh, I'd say we're about halfway there. About halfway there. Uh, I'd say we probably have another, you know, definitely 10 or more episodes coming your way. Uh, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, series so far. Uh, definitely looking forward to working with Insider in the future again on another uh, collab project too as well. I uh, really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, leave a comment uh, for any suggestions, uh, anything that you'd like to see different. And uh, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. And I will see you guys in the next one.